Hello and a very good morning. Thank you so much for once again joining us for another edition of Financial Markets. My name is Anthony Sebale and I am your host. This is Smart24 TV and we drive your business. Smart24 TV is of course on channel 302, Go TV and channel 372 DSTV as well. You can find us on our YouTube platform. That's at Smart24 TV Live for your updates on what's currently happening in the world of business. Now, Financial Markets, of course, is a show where we get to analyze stocks, analyze different treasury bonds, fixed incomes, and exchange traded funds, and of course, give you what is currently happening within the markets, uh, so as you can make the right decisions, uh, of course, as per investment within the financial markets. The show is proudly brought to you by Altex East Africa, and with Altex, we are saying you can do something new. Altex East Africa is your number one platform for trade uh, here in Uganda, but as well in Kenya and Tanzania. Now, with Altex, with the Zabu Initiative, uh, which is a brainchild of Altex East Africa, you can now dial star 29 to hash to be able to participate in the treasury bond market. As for, of course, the trading rules, you can be able to start your day with uh, trading in the morning as early as 8.30 a.m., and close your trade as late as 3 p.m. East African Standard Time. Altex is regulated by the Capital Markets Authority and is licensed, of course, to do the same as per the trading rules uh, of the Capital Markets of Uganda. Altex is saying you can do something new. Check out Altex and you will change your journey of investment. Now, let's delve into the business of trade. Uh, we'll start with Uganda. Uganda Stock Exchange has 18 listings. And yesterday, as per data from the Uganda Securities Exchange, there were slight uh, improvements and, of course, slight uh, losses here and there. In As far as the volumes are concerned, we had at least 404,750 shares traded in the fourth day of trading corresponding to a market value of 19.1 million Ugandan shillings. Now, the com of course, this day compared to Wednesday, the day showed a, de a decline of about 53% in especially the volume. Yes, the volumes declined. And then the turnover as well declined by 84%. Current market capitalization of the exchange is 17.4 trillion. Well, the market capitalization has been a little bit stable, uh, being balanced out mainly by cross listings, which have um, been on and off on several days where they are gaining and on several days where they have been losing and making up for a few uh, gaps here and there to try to keep things normal on the exchange. However, currently in aggregate, five equities participated in trade on Thursday ending the day with one gainer and, of course, uh, one loser. When you look at uh, the uh, gainers, actually, there were a couple of losers, but the gainer was only one, and that was Equity Bank Limited. Now, as far as participation is concerned, there were five equities that did participate, and among them included uh, Bank of Baroda Uganda and uh, DFCU Bank, a new entrant on the participants list this week. We did have MTN Uganda as well, and Wumeme, and of course, Stan Big Bank Uganda. These were the leading participants yesterday in the trade. However, the gainers, uh, we only saw one gainer, and that was a cross-listing. None of the participants gained. However, we had some of the, one participant, and that is MTN Uganda, lose some bit of value after dropping off 0.25% down to 165 Ugandan shillings per share. The only gainer, like I mentioned, was Equity Bank Limited, and Equity Bank Limited maintains their position as the number one most traded on stock on the Uganda Securities Exchange. However, current figures show that Equity Bank's stock has gone down in value in the last few uh, months, of course, this is because of what has been happening on Nairobi Securities Exchange. As you have been following the matters there on the NSE or the Nairobi Securities Exchange, we've seen uh, the exchange lose significant amount of value, especially on big counters like Safaricom and the financial institutions there like Bank of Kigali, 
including, of course, as well, uh, the Equity Bank Limited stock. It's primarily listed on Nairobi Securities Exchange and only got to list on the USE in the year 2009 on the 18th of June. Now, Equity Bank Limited has a current market capitalization of 3.7 trillion Ugandan shillings, currently representing about 21.4% of the entire market capitalization on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Equity Bank Limited yesterday did not trade any volumes. They maintained their shares at 3.7 billion shares and uh, the market capitalization, of course, coming to 3.7 trillion Ugandan shillings. That is Equity Bank Limited. Um, on the losing side, East African Brewers Limited lost the highest amount of value after 2.88% was lost on their price down to 3,999. KCB Group at least lost 7.58% down to 774.84 Ugandan shillings, whereas the Nation Media Group at least dropped off 0.35% of their trading price. When you look at the bottom losers, all the seven uh, lost significantly. However, they did not participate except MTN. MTN Uganda is the only loser that actually traded uh, some volumes yesterday. Now, MTN stock ended their day with at least 165 Ugandan shillings per share. After having lost 0.42 Ugandan shillings in the trades yesterday, the trade we are talking about was a small trade with just 3,750 shares. And this is where the argument comes in. Can really people who are not buying big really participate in trade? And the answer is yes. You can see on one day a whole company like MTN with as huge as a capitalization of 3.7 trillion, you have it almost just uh, below uh, 700,000 trading on a single day. So it means that probably these deals, we, we're not given the number of deals here, but probably if you look at the deals that were made, you could have like four or five or six deals. That means these are people who are trading small, small amounts uh, amongst each other. And um, this is where the stock market really is going. It's not about those who have a lot of money. It's about those who are willing to set aside money and, of course, to set aside time to understand how the entire stock market works. And so that's why I want to urge you, my friend, a farmer, a border border rider, um, a taxi driver, a conductor, um, anyone out there, a student, you can start. You can start. The earlier, the better. The more time you have your portfolio to grow, the more your returns will probably rise uh, if things work in your favor. But definitely things do work for those who wait on the stock market. That's what we say. Those who wait will always have things working out for them. Those who are impatient and just want to look at the money grow every now and then, you definitely lose out on a lot. Now, the company here we're talking about, MTN Uganda, is currently... When you look at their capitalization, really, I don't know if they are in the same place as, per, of course, the uh, securities listings and rankings, because their market capitalization of 3.7 trillion is just as high as Equity Bank Limited stock at 3.7 trillion, but they are still ranked the second most valuable. Probably a few small figures there, here and there, differ, but MTN is really one of those major stocks on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Now, as per the trading, uh, now in the one-week counters, when you look at the one-week performance of MTN, they have lost 2.98% uh, of their pricing, and uh, in the last four weeks, at least 0.02%, whereas in the last one quarter, 5.71%. The price at MTN is quite fragile. One thing you must know when you're investing with MTN is the fact that by the time MTN came on board or MTN got to list on the exchange, we had so many new young investors, novices in the game come on board. Why? Because MTN brought convenience on the market. And so there was a lot of access uh, by the public. The people got to know about a share for the first time and immediately bought shares. 
That was the biggest category that we had uh, buying shares into MTN. Of course, that worked for their good and also for their bad somehow, somewhere. But in the long run, it's working for their good. And this is exactly why uh, we need to always look out positively on things, especially on the, when it comes to trading. Now, MTN Uganda came on board in 2021 in December and was listed on 8th of December. Very brilliant day. I could remember that day so clearly. And uh, on that particular day, people were able to grab their phone for the first time and with a USSD code, first of all, open an SCD account. And then secondly, they were able to actually buy shares at MTN using their mobile money. That was indespicable. It was something unprecedented. No one has ever done that. And that's why when you look at MTN stock, immediately they got on the main board of the exchange. Their price sharply dropped from 200 shillings to as low as 160. But then later on, it started picking momentum. And uh, over the past one year, their price was on average 185, 186, 190 at, at maximum. And then lowest 175, just there, within that range, okay? Because we have so many investors with different uh, sentiments, with different feelings towards the company. The company this year was able to hold their annual general meeting and they declared a dividend. They were able to declare a dividend which was much higher than what they declared last year. So it is a, a sign of progress. It's a sign that MTN really cares and uh, a sign that also there could be a lot of wonderful things that could come uh, from this single counter. MTN is also currently in number three position in as far as those companies that are most traded on is concerned. Uh, within the last one quarter, they have traded at least 31.2 million shares on the Uganda Securities Exchange. That's how good MTN seems to be at the moment on the exchange. Uh, besides MTN, Stanbic Bank Uganda traded 46,300 shares. And well, the price was still stuck at uh, 26 shillings. Pretty interesting uh, there for Stanbic Bank Uganda. This is another very wonderful company uh, to invest in. Much more affordable than MTN, unfortunately, or fortunately. But whatever angle you see that, uh, that's definitely up to you as an investor. Now, Stanbic Bank Uganda yesterday traded 46,300 shares at 1.2 million Ugandan shillings. And that carries them to, um, when you look at their market capitalization, uh, at least 7.69% of the exchange is represented by Stanbic with the market capitalization of 1.3 trillion Ugandan shillings, which uh, is currently uh, the, most, uh, what, the fifth most valuable on the exchange. In the past quarter, they still hold number one position. Yes, they do still hold number one position in terms of traded volumes uh, with the past quarter realizing 140 million shares. Now, remember who is coming close to that in that past quarter has just traded, I think, about, um, let's see, about nine, 90, 90 million shares. There's just a huge disparity between the two. And uh, the turnover, of course, for Wumeme is a bit higher because of the higher price. But then Stanbic has a higher volume uh, because more shares have been bought and sold at Stan <coughs> Stanbic than actually Wumeme itself. Um, away from Stanbic Bank Uganda, uh, when you look at Wumeme, they traded 29,700 shares. Looks like they're still stuck at 440 shillings. Uh, they have, of course, posed their very, very ambitious rise in price uh, last uh, first, uh, about three months ago. And um, yes, this is a little bit easing out and uh, definitely a lot more investors could definitely take advantage of this chance before their book closure date. They issued a dividend, remember? They recommended a dividend, rather, of 69.3. And uh, that is something, really, that every investor should be looking out for as well. That's it from Uganda. Uh, well, they exchanged old share index, shared of slight values of about 3.4 uh, points, closing off at 1,006.67 points. Basically indicating that there were, more, the, of course, the losers outweighed the winners because we had only one gainer 
and seven losers and that of course dragged our all share index downwards the local company index also consequent of uh, mtn loss decreased slightly by 0.13 percent to 299.16 points that's from the uganda securities exchange elsewhere in nairobi um nairobi had a pretty awesome day when you look at the, their data it looks really attractive for thursday in aggregate 48 listings participated in trade with the day ending with 22 gainers and 17 uh, losers on the market now as if that is not enough the trading volumes improved by at least 78 percent whereas the turnover improved by at least 123 percent east african portland cement kenya a cement manufacturer and seller in kenya led the gainers with a gain of at least 9.59 percent up to a price of uh, 5.94 kenyan shillings the express kenya at least had a 6.96 percent appreciation whereas home africa added 5.88 percent and their long home publishers 5.26 percent on the losing side transcentury came at the bottom with a loss of at least about 8.75 percent and transcentury is also one of those very attractive companies to invest in when it comes to uh you know especially those that are engaged in the power transport and infrastructure or that would want to contribute to such a sector uh, that would be a good option for you however yesterday they were the least gain uh, actually they were the, the lowest performers after they lost at least 8.75 percent on the other hand um east african cables also dropped off 8.3 percent on their price whereas the uh, cic insurance company lost 4.74 percent there was still a lot of course going on in kenya including safaricom's uh, volumes returning to the record high at 4.99 million shares also safaricom appreciated in price by 0 0.10 kenyan shillings uh, rise the turnover for uh, the uh, safaricom company at least was 5.37 million ugandan shillings uh, with the 41 40.1 billion shares still outstanding at nairobi securities exchange Let's go across to the United States and have a look at what's happening, of course, with the Federal Reserve Chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank, and that is none other than uh, Mr. Jerome Powell. Now, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman reiterated to lawmakers yesterday on uh, the fact that the central bank expects to raise the interests in the year 2023, at least two or three more times within the year uh, in order uh, of course to uh, tackle inflation but he mentioned of course at the end of his speech that this will be slow up a slower pace to avoid tipping the economy into a recession as well uh, that was uh, remarks from jerome powell remember interest rates have been going high all over the world due to high inflation rates and these have forced central banks around the globe to see that they re remain, of course, they make sure that their financial institutions remain strong, but also try to face inflation and protect their currency. Now, the banks in the United States are maintaining uh, very high interest rates, of course, following this and more uh, from the Federal Reserve Bank. And of course, that is explained by the fact that inflation is still quite high in the United States. The strong majority of committee uh, say that they believe uh, it will be appropriate to raise federal funds to rate again uh, once or twice by the end of the year. Uh, that's, of course, what's coming in from the United States. The S&P 500 currently is at 4,404 points and the Dow Jones Industrial Average at 34,084 points, whereas the Nasdaq futures are at 15,143 and Russell 2000 at 1,800. Uh, that's, of course, from the big indices in the United States. My name is Anthony Sabale. Thank you so much for once again tuning in. 
and for watching Smart 24 TV. A lot more business is coming your way with Yuji Tukole, Skill Up later in the day, and all your business content coming all through Smart 24 TV. Uh, the show is probably brought to you by Otex East Africa, and Otex is saying more money, no hassle. Uh, with Otex and Zabu, you can, uh, of course, possess your money and possess your future. Simply dial star 29 to hash and follow the prompts to know how you can invest across East African treasury bonds. Otex East Africa doing something new. And there you have it. We are off for the weekend. Uh, we'll be back on Monday. The markets are also going to be closing today. I wish you a very happy weekend. Remember to save some money and invest next week. Have a good day. See you next week. Bye for now. Smart 24, driving business.